Welcome back to Channel 6 News Presidential Special. We've been counting down from our current president, Obama, and now we're on our seventh president, Andrew Jackson. Jackson was quite the controversy back in his day. Another controversy we have with him today is whether or not he should be on the $20 bill. Lucky for us, one of our own is a descendant of Jackson, our cameraman, Ted, Ted Jackson. Jackson! Look what I found yesterday, guys. It's a video, of an old taping of the newscast when Andrew Jackson was in his presidency. I found it at my log cabin in Tennessee. Thanks, Ted. Okay. Bye, Mom. <laughs> here, here you go. Thanks, I meant, thanks, Ted. We'll put it in. Welcome to Channel V1 News. I'm Lisa Fries with my co-host, Meredith Baker. She's currently not here with us because she's in Florida, but... Today, we have with us some guests from the Cherokee tribe. Chief Eveson and his daughter, Little Mohica. So, how do you two feel towards Jackson? Indian Removal Act of 1830, back. Cost my people pain and misery. Cost my people land. How does that make your people feel? Fair Jackson, you know. The Supreme Court make a, made a ruling that Jackson could not make us leave. But evil man made my people and many other tribes walk. What kind of walk, Chief Eason? A torturous walk that took many oh, moons to open a home. Jackson said, and I quote, John Marshall has made this decision, but now let him enforce it. What do you call this walk? I call it the Trail of Tears because I left little teardrops in my, t in my tiny footsteps along with my fellow 81,000 Native Americans who were forced to move west. Well, I think that makes a statement about the clearly loved Jackson. Now to my co-host, Meredith Baker. Thanks, Liesl. Now I'm here in Florida with Spanish Seminole, Chief Bullock, and an adventurer aiding Bullock, Sir Embrister. Hello, Meredith. Hello. Recently heard from our last interview, Jackson has greatly affected others' lives and not for the best. How has he affected your life before he came presidency? Aye, aye, aye. That is something we don't talk about much in the Seminole area. Why is this such an emotional subject? Aye, aye, aye. On March 15, 1818, Jackson was only supposed to guard the border of Georgia, but the, he invaded our land and gave us two options, either to police the Floridas or turn the Floridas over to the U.S. We decided to leave our home, much like the Native Americans. Did he make that uh, choice before his corrupt presidency? Yes. Thanks, Meredith. Even before his time as the American dictator, he was very angry and showed no mercy. You're welcome. Well, he doesn't seem very pleasant, now does he? After this short break, we'll go back to Liesl with some of Jackson's war hawks. Jackson. Hey, South Carolina. Can I nullify your ass? No! <laughs> Here's the deal. If you make me a sandwich, I will make you Secretary of State. Okay. Here's the deal. Don't let anybody else. Right? If you make me a sandwich, I'll make you Secretary of State. Okay. How okay. about if you make me a sandwich, I'll make you Secretary of State? I already made yeah. you a sandwich. <laughs> Jackson supporters Rex Stewart and Johnny Wheelbarrow. Well, why do you think so highly of Andrew Jackson? Well, I think he's just the darn tootinest, bestest guy we've had around. Why would you think that? No, I wouldn't you. <laughs> uh, you didn't answer my question, and you have not, have you not seen the last couple of interviews? I mean, really. Well, he just marched right up in New Orleans and got him shaking in their boots. So them red coats left out poor. I heard that Battle of New Orleans wasn't even necessary because the War of 1812 had already ended. Oh, well, uh, touche. Okay then, now we have a short commercial, so don't go away. What are you doing? Don't eat that, Rex.
I'm John Quincy Adams. I have cool hair, and I approve this This is Liesl Fries here, and as you can see, a peaceful Indian is walking in its natural habitat. Jackson Badge! Jackson Badge! Oh my gosh, it's Jackson! What is he doing? Jackson! <laughs> we want to interview you! <laughs> this clearly proves why Jackson is insane. I'm Liesl Fries and I'm Meredith Baker. Thanks for tuning in to Channel B1 News. See you next time. Wow, that newscast sure did show some of the bad points about Jackson. Yeah, well, why don't we summarize some of the information for our viewers. Before he became president, Jackson fought some British soldiers in 1814, even though it wasn't necessary. He also invaded Florida, Florida illegally and forced many people to leave their homeland just like he forced the Indians out of Georgia and other southern states. I researched about Chief Bullock and Sir Brister, and Bullock was sentenced and hung and Brister was sentenced to 40 lashes on the back. Ouch, that would hurt. I'm sure it did because Brister died when he was being whipped. Jackson did not think Indians were equal to the common man even though they had created their own language and government. The Indians were their own nation inside the United States, and John Marshall made a Supreme Court ruling about that, but Jackson didn't listen. So the Indians were forced to move to Oklahoma, and the path they took was called the Trail of Tears. Jackson's economic policy was very hands-off. He did not focus on internal improvements in the U.S., and he showed that by um, vetoing the Maysville Road Bill of 1830, which would have made the National Road 20 miles longer. And the people who opposed Jackson formed the Whig Party, a party that strongly disliked executive tyranny. During his eight years in office, Jackson vetoed 12 bills, and one of those was the first pocket veto in U.S. history. Jackson also passed one major law, the Indian Removal Act of 1830. Many people called Jackson King Jackson because he would throw out anybody who disobeyed him. Jackson also invented the spoil system, which was later outlawed. Hey Emma, do you hear that noise outside? Yeah, it sounds like protesters. Let's go check it out. Poor kid. I am angry. Lock him up, lock him I up. I am angry. Andrew Jackson You should so be in jail. Bad. Hello, I'm Emma Martinez. And I'm Maggie Murtha. We're here today live with protester number two. So what are you guys protesting? We are protesting Jackson being on the $20 bill because he was very corrupt and had a very negative effect on the people of the United States. Can you go more into detail about the negative effect he had on the people? The Tariff of Abominations was an unfair tax to the southern states that benefited the New England industries. So when South Carolina tried to nullify the tariff, Jackson threatened to collect the money at gunpoint. Jackson also responded with a nullification proclamation. Jackson started the U.S. on a path to the Civil War. Thank you, protester. Thanks for giving us your time. Speaking for most of us on Channel 6 News, we agree that Jackson should not, not be on the $20 bill. Stay tuned for our next president, John Quincy Adams. I'm Maggie Murtha. And I am Emma Martinez. See you later. Where did they make your people walk? What kind of walk? A torturous walk that took many moons to Oklahoma. Jackson said, and I quote, <laughs> oh, Ow. Do you guys want to start over? Um, oh. We should look, oh. That was good until you said, and I quote. <laughs> This is Liesl Fries here, and as you can see, a peaceful Indian is walking in its natural habitat. Jackson Bad! Jackson Bad! Oh my gosh, it's Jackson! What is he doing? Jackson! <laughs> we want to interview you! <laughs> this clearly proves 
Why Jackson is insane. He always keeps his promises. All right, here's the deal. wagon. He'll let you do whatever you want. Hey Jackson. Hey South Carolina. Can I nullify your ass? No! <laughs> so what are you guys protesting? We are protesting Jackson being on the $20 bill because <laughs> <laughs> don't stick it in my face. Sorry. <laughs> so what are you guys protesting? <laughs> Martinez, we're here live with protester number two. What are you guys <laughs> Hello, I'm Emma Martinez. And I'm Maggie Murtha. And we're here live with protester number two. So pro protester. <laughs> Hello, I'm Emma Martinez. And I'm Maggie Murtha. <laughs> Hello, I'm. <laughs> Go! Hi, Hi guys.